Chris. I'm Margie. And this is a rainy day in Indiana. Mm -hmm. So now this is Disney updates. So and what do we have, Margie? News. Disney news. Disney news. Right now we got Instagram. Mike from Crazy Mike's Fun Channel. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mike. We got Kevin from Kevin's Theme Park Adventure. Hello, Kevin. Hey Kevin. And for the rest of it, we have news. So what are we waiting for? Huh? Nothing. Let's get started with some news. <clears throat> this is coming from Traveler Leisure. Travel Travel. Is that Travel Plus Leisure? Is that what it's supposed to be? It looks like it. All right. Disney just launched. A bunch of new park deals, including half-off hotels, ticket packages, dining discounts, and more. From $50 kids tickets, hotel discounts, and dining promo cards, both Disney World and Disneyland have new ways to save on the next trip. Hello, Mar. Hello, Mar. I hope, hope you all three are doing well today. Just ahead of the most magical time of the year. Both Walt Disney World and Disneyland have announced money-saving offers to help families budget for their upcoming vacations. For starters, Walt Disney World is offering 50% the purchase of a four-night, four-day stay for children in your party ages three through nine, beginning on November 14th, Joey's birthday. Packages including a dining plan, theme park tickets, and a room at select Disney World hotels. This offer is valid for most stays March 3rd through June 30th, 2024. Disney World Resort Hotels also offering up a 25% off select stay on most nights January 9th through March 24th, 2024. Guests must take advantage of this offer by booking by December 15th. There are additional offers for annual pass holders and Florida residents. The new year also sees other big changes at the Florida park, resulting in a more seamless guest experience. Beginning on January 9th, theme park reservations will no longer be required for guests with date-based tickets. This date also marks the return of the Disney Dining Plan, which offers convenience by allowing guests to pre-budget their food expense at park favorites like Woody's Lunchbox or Be Our Guest. Additionally, Disney World is offering dining promo cards valued up to $1,000 for non-discount five-night, four-day hotel room and ticket packages to those vacationing at the end of the 2023 through early 2024. Over at Disneyland Resort, a new limited time kids ticket is available beginning October 24th for children ages 3 to 9 for as low as $50 per day. The deal applies to one, two, or three day park tickets. These tickets are good for either Disneyland Park or Disney California Adventure Park with the ability to upgrade to include Park Hopper and Disney Genie Plus service. Tickets are valid for use January 8th through March 10th, 2024, with no blackout dates. The best way to enjoy the holidays at Disneyland Resort, by staying on site at one of its three hotels and taking advantage of a slew of special perks, like 30-minute early entry, and a current promotion is offering 15% off stays on select evenings through December 22nd. Savor the memories with the complimentary Disney Photo Pass available to all guests on its most popular attraction like Space Mountain. In addition to these offers, there are many ways that guests visiting Walt Disney World or Disneyland can maximize their budget and time on their next vacation. Consider purchasing Dis Disney Genie Plus service to dramatically cut time, cut time waiting in line or use Disney date-based tickets calendar online to advance purchase the lowest price tickets. 
So it sounds like Disney is doing some deals. Hopefully those deals will keep up. Moving on. So I don't know where Margie's, what Margie is. She took off. So what, what do we got? See, tomorrow's my mom's birthday. Oh, we'll tell her I said happy birthday, Kevin. Where is Sandy? Did a cat get the bird? I don't, I don't know. Uh, let's see. But, all right, moving on. This is from WDW News Today. And it is, new dishes come into Geyser Point Bar and Grill, Three Bridges Bar and Grill, and Banana Cabana at Walt Disney World. New dishes are coming to three Walt Disney World Resort Hotel Resort restaurants. On October 11th, new items will arrive at Geyser Point Bar and Grill at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Three Bridges Bar and Grill at Villa Del Lago at Disney's Coronado Springs Resort. And Banana Cabana at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. The Geyser Point Bar and Grill... Let's take a trip on the wild side over to Disney's Wilderness Lodge where you'll find, find Geyser Point Bar and Grill nestled poolside and lakeside. The iconic bison burger is always still available to indulge in, but the culinary team has created some additional plates for the lineup, including three new plant-based bites, not to mention all of the food offerings are available on mobile order. So, first to have, first up, the crispy per Peking ribs. This dish is tossed in a tasty Peking sauce with cashews. Its wings are more your thing. The geyser chicken wings are now available to two new favors, flavors. Thai chili or sriracha buffalo. But don't worry. If you love the teriyaki, it's still available too. So, uh... The charcuterie flatbread is, is topped with salami, brisket, chorizo, bacon, and smoked Gouda beer cheese. The new turkey BLT sandwich is not your average BLT. It combines house-smoked black pepper turkey, can, candy, candy bacon, and avocado puree for the perfect blend of flavors and every bite. So I'm taking a guess. This is a lot of it down here, I think. I might be wrong. Is that all up here? Yes. So those would be the ribs. That would be the uh, the wings. Is this what's this? The flatbread. So they're not showing the turkey club or the turkey BLT. All right. Next up, I wish they would get rid of these advertisements. It's kind of hard to read and see what we're looking at. The macaroni and cheese bites are cheesy bites of goodness paired with tomato and peppers. The vegetable burgers with cheese. Sorry, I should have looked over. Me and my mom got the new vaccine for it. Oh, wow. I hope Sandy is okay. A new type of COVID is going around again. Is one of the bridge the bridges over the river? I don't think so, Mike. So, all right. Uh, the macaroni and cheese bites are cheesy bites of goodness paired with tomato and peppers. The vegetable burger with cheese is a fantastic plant-based option. It's stopped, topped with spicy slaw, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, and tomato. Lastly, we've got the multi-grain salad with tofu. This delicious new addition combines mixed greens, wild rice, bell peppers, and sesame vinaigrette. It's also available with chicken, steak, or salmon if you like. So I think those are these. Oh, Mar, I hope she's okay too. She hasn't been in here for a couple nights. So up here, this is what we're talking about. I, I don't think we've read some of it. So it goes down. In addition to all these bites, there's also a new sip joining the menu. The Pineapple Mule is returning from its temporary run during Black History Month, and now it will be featured as permanent offering at Geyser Point Bar and Grill. It brings together Uncle's, Uncle Nearest 1884 Small Batch Whiskey, Hella Cocktail Company Ginger Bitters, pineapple juice, ginger beer, and mint for a refreshing and delicious beverage. Guest experience manager Maori Santiago, Marcos, and Megan Reinhardt 
crafted this cocktail centered around Uncle Nearest Whiskey, which pays homage to the first known black master distiller, <laughs> Nathan's Nearest Green. In addition to Geyser Point Bar and Grill, the Pineapple Mule will be added to over 40 Disney re resort hotels, bars, and lounge. So that would be this drink here. Oh, well, happy early birthday to your mom. Up from Three Bridges. Get ready to bat. I wish they'd get rid of it. Can I get rid of those? Nope. Stop saying this. Uh, uh, nope. Not interested. It's not going to do anything. <laughs> yeah, what? All right. Get ready to bask in the good vibes and good flavors at the Three Bridge Bridges Bar and Grill at Villa Del Lago. This open air spot found at Disney Coronado Springs Resort is a fan favorite and for a good reason. All food is available via mobile order too. First up, we've got the Korean fried chicken bao buns. This is paired with lime mayo, sweet and spicy gachi chang sauce. Kimchi pickles and radishes. So I'm going to say here, this one here, the very first one. I think it is. All right. Uh, let's see. Another new starter is the tamarind soy glazed pork ribs with scallions, pickled Fresno chilies, and cilantro. So that's this over here. Whether you're a, how do you say that? Where are you at? Right here. I have no idea. Savage fan or looking to try it. The Savage Classico is the perfect dish, dish to satisfy your taste buds. It's delicious features. Kona Capacci, sweet potatoes, concha, red onions, chili, and leche de tigre. Is it ceviche? I don't know. Maybe it's ceviche. I don't know. So I'm going to say it's this since they've been going in order. All right. Uh, for a refreshing salad, the Villa Del Lago wedge salad is a must. It combines baby iceberg lettuce chorizo, blue cheese, and marinated topped tomato topped with avocado dressing. You can also get it with grilled shrimp or grilled chicken. If you'd like some added protein. So that's this. That looks pretty good. Moving on. So I'm trying to read the chat since I was out. Let's hope Sandy's okay. She hasn't been in here for a couple nights. <laughs> Marsha, a new type of COVID's going around. Um, Mike says he and his mom got the new vaccine. Hello, Mary Carol. Welcome. Um all right, it's time for entrees. Few things are better than tacos and the new pork carna, um, carnitas, carni tacos. Carnita. I don't know. So carnitas, carnitas tacos. tacos are no different. These are served with a trio of sauces, chipotle, pineapple salsa, toma tomatillo. tomatillo, salsa verde, and salsa barracha, along with cheese huh looks like it says cotija cheese Co cotita cotija cotija cheese and pickled like vegetables served with black beans and rice the chicken mole Popolino. Popolino is another must try with sweet corn what's yeah, that i don't know what that is <laughs> i don't even know how to pronounce that <laughs> oxicon cheese tamale rich mole poblano sauce and radishes so, I'm going to say that's the tacos, and this is what we just talked about. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, if you're in the mood to fulfill that burger fix, the Three Bridges Signature Burger is just a plate for you. This is not your average burger. This is one topped with a bacon marmalade, a sun-dried tomato jam, smoked gouda, queso, crispy vegetables, and arugula. Served with smoked paprika fries. That looks pretty good. I'll try it. Up after that, we have last up for new main dishes is the plancha seared mahi mahi and shrimp. 
Seafood fans will love this new item. It's expertly paired with balsam tea, rice, bok choy, Thai red, coconut, curry sauce, and mint. Do you know why I'm laughing? Why? Because every time I see it, I think of your brother. <laughs> so it's this one here. Yeah. Yeah, my brother was in Hawaii. Can I have and the... He wouldn't say mahi mahi. He would ask for the Maui Maui. So... <laughs> Okay. Up, up next, this is uh, the warm churros are still on the menu, but now featuring three dipping sauces, tequila caramel, spiced chocolate, and mango chamoy. Another sweet delight is the coconut flan with passion fruit sauce, mango, and hibiscus. You may have seen this dish previously on the menu for Women's History Month, and now it has made Three Bridges Bar and Grill at Villa Del Lago its permanent home. So we got, so th this is your... Your churros with dip, and then this is your coconut flam. All right. Uh, so they also have where are we at? Oh, three new bridges are the on the way. The cold brew old fashioned combines selva ray, chocolate rum, tia marie, coffee liqueur, Joffrey's Mexican femino, cold brew, and Hella Cocktail Hella Cocktail Company orange bitters. For some red wine with a tryst, the Tinto de Verano serves up red wine, Comer's Cream de Mure, Minute Maid Premium Lemonade, and Sprite. This refreshing cocktail is traditionally served in the summer months in Spain. And for a tropical beverage that's non-alcoholic, the Tropical Coconut Cooler is a refreshing blend of coconut, orange, pineapple, and lime juices with salt rim. So I'm taking a guess. This is probably the first one we mentioned. Mm -hmm. Hi, Megan. Hello, Megan. Mari, I hope you start feeling better. Um, Mary, I'm doing well today. I hope you are doing well, and I hope the cats are doing well also. Next up, we got from the Banana Cabana, which is there at uh, the Caribbean Beach Resort. So now it's time to relax and feast because we're headed over to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort where Banana Cabana has got some new bites joining the menu pair of of this location's delicious, deliciously refreshing beverage with a savory bite like the Banana Cabana burger. This dish features Cabana or Caribbean barbecue. How'd you say you said that? Tomatillo. Tomatillo jalapeno. Jalapeno cream cheese. I know how to say jalapeno. <laughs> cream cheese and pineapple salsa with plantain crunch serve with french fries so that's probably this one here i'm gonna say right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right up the grilled wing now features two new so fla sauce flavors rum barbecue and guava buffalo but don't worry the tasty jamaican jerk will still still there too these three options are designed by the talented culinary team to be an island style of mild rum barbecue medium guava buffalo and hot jamaican jerk no matter your sauce of choice your wings will be joined by a carrot and a carrots and a tasty cilantro lime cream what's it crema mm -hmm. so this one i think it's all three isn't it uh-oh Up next, there are two new seafood items. The seafood fritters served with passion fruit aioli and the coconut shrimp served with citrus chili sauce and french fries. The island vibes are even better on Friday and Saturday with Cabana, with Banana Cabana features a live steel drum band. So, there we go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, when you were talking about the jerk stuff, the only thing I can think about was the jerk food. Jerk chicken wrap um, from, what was that place called? Chief Burger in Paradise. Yes. Boys and Harvey. No. So, I think we're filled with food tonight for some reason. You know that? Yeah. So. Up next from WDW News Today, we have the 2023 Holiday Kitchen announced for Epcot International Festival of the Holidays. So Walt Disney World has announced the Holiday Kitchen that will be at this year's Epcot International <clears throat> Festival of the Holidays. A handful are already open as latecomers to the Epcot International Food and 
Wine Festival in honor of Disney's 100. List of 2023 Holiday Kitchens. American Holiday Table, American Adventure Pavilion. Enjoy a savory salute to the season with traditional dishes rem- reminiscent. Rem- yeah, reminiscent of Grandma's cooking. So, uh, Bavaria Holiday Kitchen, Germany Pavilion. Welcome, men. Help yourself to a war- heartwarming holiday cuisine and German beverage. Bubbles and Breen near Port of Entry. Indulge in succulent seafood that pairs beautifully with champagne. Char and Chops near Disney Traders. Stop by this butchery-inspired holiday kitchen for gourmet meats. Um, when's the next Disney trip for us? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We haven't really planned for one yet. Mm-mm. No. So. But our daughter is headed to Disneyland. Disneyland this weekend. So let's see. The Holiday Heart Desserts, the Odyssey Pavilion. Cozy up with sweet treats, hot cocoa, blissful brew, and more. Holiday Sweets and Treats near Port of Entry. Rock around the Christmas tree with cookies, hot cocoa, and specially sips sure to hot top the nice list. La Chame. Is that how you say that, Marge? Mm-hmm. Holiday Kitchen between the Morocco and France Pavilion. Propose a toast to life as you enjoy classic deli Noches with a side of New York flair. Las Posadas Holiday Kitchen, Mexico Pavilion, Feliz Navidad. Take your taste buds south of the border to celebrate the season. Le Mar, Mar- Marche de Noel Holiday Kitchen, France. I'm not sure. Pavilion, Feast on Tres Magnifique Fair. Plus, refresh your spirit with specialty cocktails. They have the no, Noche Buene Cucina, Spice Up Your, which is uh, near Test Track, presented by Chevrolet. Spice up your holiday with delicious dish packed with bold Latina Latin flavors. Shanghai Holiday Kitchen, China Pavilion. Have yourself a merry little Christmas with popular Chinese plates and potables. Shiwasu Holiday Kitchen, Japan Pavilion. Please your plate with festive dishes and drinks from the land of the rising sun. Swirled showcase near Port of Entry. Cool off with the whimsical frozen treats and chilled beverages. Tangerine Cafe, flavors of the Medina, Morocco Pavilion. Embark on a culinary adventure to Morocco featuring grilled kebabs, hard cider, and more. Tuscany Holiday Kitchen, Italian Pavilion. What's that say? Magere. Savor a seasonal take on some of the world's best loved food and beverages. Wine and Wedge near Disney Traders. Snack on artisanal cheeses and accounterments. With pair which pair well with wine, port, and more. Yukon Holiday Kitchen, Canada Pavilion. Jingle your bells with delightful dishes and libations from the Great White North. And I believe that is it. So that's all that's going on for the uh, festival of the holidays at Epcot. Does that sound good? Mm, some of them. Some of them sound good. I don't know. That, the American pavilion looks like it's going to be turkey and mashed potatoes. Whatever the crispy thing was on, I didn't think that would look very good. Oh, really? <laughs> Moving on. Banana Cabana sounds like an 80s rock band. All right. This is uh comes from WDW News Today. Disney announced new Wish Together sweepstakes giving away Walt Disney World and Disney Cruise Line vacation. So, Disney has announced a new Wish Together sweepstakes in honor of the upcoming animated film Wish. The winner will receive a vacation to Walt Disney World and a trip on the Disney Cruise Line. So, uh, the Wish Together Sweepstakes gives fans a chance to win a dream come true on land and sea with a very special family vacation for four. The prize includes a three-night stay in a club-level concierge room at a Disney Deluxe Resort Hotel at Walt Disney World Resort, along with a Disney Cruise Line vacation to the Bahamas. Aboard the Disney Wish and a one-bedroom concierge suite 
with veranda and an array of merchandise from Shop Disney and more. But the best part is that for every free entry received now through January 31st, 2024, Disney will donate $5 to make a wish up to $1 million to grant life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses. Do you know what that means? What's that mean? Everybody go vote. Yes. So the sweepstakes... Or not vote. Uh, enter. Enter. Yeah. Sorry. The sweepstakes opens today and runs through January 31st, 2024. See the terms and conditions below. No purchase necessary. Enter the sweepstakes between 10 4, 23 at 2 a.m. Pacific time and 1 31, 24 at 11 59 p.m. Pacific time. Open to legal residents of the 50 U.S. states and the D.C. D District of Columbia, 13 plus. Limited one entry per person per day. Grand prize winner must be able to travel May 3rd, 2024 to May 10th, 2024, or August 23rd, 2024, to August 30th, 2024. Maximum donation is a dollar, one million dollars. Donations by Disney to Make-A-Wish Foundation of America. So visit DisneyWishTogether.com rule, backslash rules for full details on how to enter. Eligible requirements, odds of winning prize description, and limitation mm -hmm. void are prohibited. What do you think of that? It said about 10... Did we already read about 10%? No. Disney's also dating 10% of each individual's item sale price up to wish. Oh, wow. Mike says, I don't know about going on a cruise yet. You're sailing in a very big peach dish. <laughs> <laughs> but the parks are safer, not combined on a ship. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to jump on up here. Haley's making faces at me, so... What, through the door? Oh, right there. She's making not nice faces. <laughs> All right, this is coming from uh, Yahoo Entertainment. Well, it says Yahoo Entertainment, but it says Cinema Blend. So, uh, while Disney World is ending reservations, Disneyland is doubling down, and I hate it. Or it says a stay in a deluxe hotel would be fantastic, but I'm not interested in cruising. Yes. So Walt Disney World fans were really excited a few months back when the resort announced that beginning in 2024, theme park reservations would no longer be required for guests who had purchased standard date tickets. It was the end of a pandemic era process that even Disney World is now admitting people are excited is gone. Despite Disney execs spending years touting the benefits of reservations, Disneyland fans had hoped that a similar announcement would be forthcoming. But not only are reservations not ending, Disneyland is expanding the reservation window. Previously, guests could make reservations by Disneyland Resorts up to 120 days in the future. But today, Disney Parks announced that later this month, that window will widen and guests will be able to make reservations up to 180 days in advance. Clearly, if Disneyland is making reservations more accessible, they won't be going away anytime soon, and that sucks because the reservation system is awful and it makes even the less sense at Disneyland than, than it does at Walt Disney World. Disney World sells, sells tickets further in advance than Disneyland Resort, so it made sense that Walt Disney World was the first to announce the end of reservations, which happened just as the first ticket for the 2024 went on sale. Disneyland could have made a similar announcement about a month ago when it began selling 2024 tickets, but that did not happen. Reservations add an extra step to the ticket buying process, and not only that, but the possibilities all always exist that reservations can keep you out of the park even when tickets are technically still available. Issues with annual pass holders being unable to make reservations while those buying standard tickets still could led to a lawsuit against both Disneyland and Walt Disney World, and Disneyland recently agreed to a class action payout to, to that settlement suit. The other problem is the reservation requirement is a big part of the reason that park hopping at the both rep resorts has been limited, as you can't require a guest to make a reservation for a particular park if they can then turn around and immediately go elsewhere. This is especially frustrating at Disneyland Resort, where the entrances to the two parks are yards away from each other. 
park hopping at Disney World is largely pointless under the best conditions, but Disneyland Resort should be free and open, and reservations are the main reason it is not. At Disney World's annual pass holders will still need to make reservations in 2024, though they do have the ability to even enter most parks most days in the afternoon without a reservation. Disneyland has an earlier time in the day when park hopping is allowed than Disney World does, but that's the only con concession the California Resort has made since implementing the entire process. I was still holding out hope that reservations would be going away at Disneyland soon, even if they weren't happening as soon as I would have liked. It seems that while Walt Disney World sees value in removing them, Disneyland Resort, for whatever reason, has a very different view of the process. Hmm. What do you think? So does it have to do with anything with our governor? No, I don't think it has anything or you just to do think with that. No. I mean, he's the CEO of both places. Why would you do one and not the other? The governor is not the CEO. I'm talking about Bob Iger. Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. All right, moving on. Anything said? I'm just answering them on here because I can't type there. Quincy was on me. No, I want you to read them. Oh, Quincy was on me. Does that mean the cruise is a death trap? <laughs> Mary's glad you joined. See, we, we want to interact. We don't want you on well, there typing like to them. When I'm reading, you just... <laughs> no, it's okay. fine. Mike said his sister... Where'd it go? Sorry. Margie's, Margie's still new to YouTube, so... Yesterday, my sister and the kids were trying to use a toaster oven. I couldn't get it to work. My mom calls me. I check it out. I ask them if it's plugged in. They said yes. I tried the can opener, then plugged in the toaster oven, and it worked. Laugh out loud. Um, okay. You want to read Mary's? She just typed down there. Oh. Uh, so did Mar. I'm glad to be here with Adam Blake and Reba, my three cats. At Mar in Memphis. I'll make sure to give Chris a thumbs up. Disneyland needs Mars's Disneyland needs a head count because people can come in through the Grand Californian Hotel. Oh, so they don't you don't enter in one gate? Well they probably can, but I think probably if you stay at the one hotel you can enter just through the hotel. Hmm. So all right. This is next up is WDWmagic.com. Once they get it through either entrance they can park off. Uh, lay, latest on Journey of Water inspired by Moana soft opening at Epcot. So, cast members and annual pass holders previews are now over at Epcot's Journey of Water inspired by Moana with the tension shifting to the possibilities of soft openings. The attraction is currently closed as of this morning to all guests, but the water effects and music are all running and cast members are present. Disney is likely using some of the time before October 16th to make minor changes to the experience. Some water effects have not been working recently, and additionally, drainage is expected to be installed in some areas. The nearby Moana character meet and greet area is also complete, but remains behind rolling bushes. It says... We still expect to see some soft openings before October 16th, which will likely be unannounced and may change any time. Mike says before this journey of water, it was called rain. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Mars says, yes, Disneyland has one entrance on a plaza that leads to the MK or DCA. So Magic Kingdom or is that Disney California Adventure? Is that right? What's, yeah, Disney DCA. California Adventure. Then there's another entrance coming out of the hotel. And so on DC. Okay. Hm. All right. I guess I just, I don't know. I hear him say two parks at Disneyland, and I'm thinking, not very right. big. All right. Up next, this is from allears.net. Uh, seven changes you'll see in Disney World in the next 60 days. What do you think they'll be, Orange? Um, potholes on the road on the way there. 
There are always new things popping up in Disney World, and the next 60 days are full of exciting attractions and entertainment debuts. Have some potholes in the road that was exciting. No, it's not exciting. Um... Grab a pen and paper because you're going to want to write these seven new Disney World changes down. Preparing to visit Disney World within the next 60 days, you'll want to know about these exciting changes coming. So, first up, first ever Animal Kingdom extended evening hour event starting november 8th animal kingdom will open its gates to their first extended evening hours event for guests staying at participating disney resorts if i'm right you have to be staying at a deluxe resort for these though yeah we read up the other night yes. you have to stay at a deluxe. i think that's crappy but it's from 7 p.m to 9 p.m guests will will unleash their wild side and have the opportunity to ride so the ones that are open for that is Avatar, Flight of Passage, Dinosaur, Expedition Everest, Legend of the Forbidden Mountain. It's tough to be a bug. Meet favorite Disney pals at Adventure Outpost, Navi River Journey, and Triceratops Spin. So if you're going to be there during that time, a couple of places you, you might want to hit is Dinosaur, It's Tough to Be a Bug, and Tri Triceratops Spin because they're either changing or going away. Oh, really? Yes. Mars says she thought it was called a water cycle. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mike comes back and says a water cycle has floats and paddle tires to make it across the lake. And paddle tires to make it across the lake. Opening of the Journey of Water inspired Mo by Moana is number two. This new attraction opening October 16th is Where Water Comes to Life. Learn with Moana and her friends the importance of water, including conservation efforts and its global connections. Guests get to choose which path they prefer, whether that be the dry or wet, and they will be able to meet our favorite Matunian Princess Moana. It's, I think that's so pretty. Look at it. Mm -hmm. I've got to leave for a little bit. I'll try to come back. If I don't come back, have a great night, everyone. Oh, well, thank you for coming in Thanks, and watching. Mary. Have a good night if you don't make it back. Number three, start of the holidays at Disney World. Beginning November 11th, Disney World will be transformed into a winter wonderland entertainment attraction. Exclusive parties with offers a guest a holiday twist. Um, and it's not just the parks that get a major overhaul. The Disney Resort, participating restaurants, and merchandise get it on the fun. So, Kidder96, Dick Butkus, the former football player who guest starred in the Disney Channel show, I didn't do it, passed away earlier today. Oh, wow. I didn't know Dick, Dick Butkus passed away. I know who Dick Butkus is. Thank, thank you, you for, for joining us, us though. Yeah, yeah, and thank you for letting us know. All right. Number four is Jollywood Nights at Hollywood Studios. Grab your dapper party outfits because on November 11th, Hollywood Studios will debut its first ever ticketed holiday event. On select party nights, you can immerse yourself in festival fun, including the live music, exclusive snacks, and jingle bells, jingle bam, nighttime, spectacular, to name a few. Also... Number five, Epcot International Festival. The holiday begins. If you know us, you know we love a good Epcot festival on November 24th. Holiday Kitchens, the Holiday Cookie Stroll, and Candlelight Processional make their season debut. Also, Santa Claus will be available to meet in the Odyssey Pavilion in 60 minutes increments throughout the day. So, And we just went over the menu for that just here just a moment ago. Number six. Actually, oh, there. Is that the, yep. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Number six, Epcot International International Food and Wine Festival ends. Be sure to get your food and wine festival eating around the world in November or in the and before November 18th. The curtain is closing on the fan favorite festival until 2024. Don't forget to catch an Eat to the Beat concert too. You'll still you still you still got time, so don't delay. Number seven, Luminous, the Symphony of Us, show debuts in Epcot. Say goodbye to Epcot forever and Harmonious because there's a new nighttime spectacular coming to town December 5th. This show will feature fireworks, fountain lasers, 
lightning effects, and music around the world showcase. We are so excited about these upcoming changes in, in Disney World, especially the holiday decor. So it's always a fun time to be at Disney when they, mm -hmm. during Christmas time. I do like it at Christmas. Yes, yes. It's very pretty. So moving on, moving on. I can't really say much about... We got some merchandise. Like Halloween would have been. Yeah, we well, we kind of seen like the beginning of it. Yeah, but... But we've never been to a, a, a Halloween party. So Up next we have w, from WDW News Today. New PhilharMagic 20th Anniversary Pins, Christmas Pins, Star Wars Pins, and more at Walt Disney World. So, uh, since it's time for a pen roundup, several new pens have arrived at Walt Disney World in just the first few days of October 2023. There are new Christmas pens, a pen celebrating 20 years of Mickey's PhilharMagic, Star Wars pens, and more. So first up, we got the limited edition Mickey's PhilharMagic 20th Anniversary pens that are $19.99. I'm not going to read this stuff. We can kind of look at it. So you got Donald chasing the hat. This is what it looks like. Up next, we got the limited edition Goofy Christmas pin for $19.99. This is the new Goofy, too. A lot of people don't like that new Goofy. There's a new Goofy? Yeah, the look of the Goofy he's that they have now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people don't like the look of him. All right. Next up, we got the limited edition Mickey and Pluto Christmas pin for $19.99. That's it. Kind of got like the baby look mm -hmm. for them. Also, a limited release Christmas countdown pin for $34.99. It's again, it's the, uh, the new style that they're drawing them. Next up is the limited edition Disney Darlings Vanellope pin for $19.99. When you're shopping for a power bank for your Disney trip, look for the one with the solar panel. We'll keep your power bank charged as long as there's sunlight. It costs a bit more, but half power is worth it. Very much so. Limited release Get, Get Goofy pin for $17.99. It's, it's like a disco goofy. Marcia, someday I would love... To see the festival of the holiday speakers and the goofy who needs braces for the split in his teeth. <laughs> Next up, we have the limited release Darth Vader and ATAT pen for $17.99. He's walking it like a dog. Mm -hmm. Up after that is limited edition Luke Skywalker pen for $19.99. So I don't. Are they two separate? Because you have like his it lightsaber kind of hill, separate, and know. then uh, yeah, it maybe they're not. Like maybe they're connected. Mm -hmm. I don't know. And that's gonna do so, it. So real quick, um, the festival of the holiday speakers. That like the speakers in front of each. Um, what, what's the word I'm for? Country. I, I is that what you I mean, would, Mar? That or is she talking the about the processional? I don't know which one is that, Mar. I'm I'm I'm. I, don't know. I know it's either that really or or you right? or you got where they're talking about the different traditions that talks about the different traditions. We saw we got to watch a couple of those, yeah. but is that a baby at at? I think it was. Yes. All right. This is from WDWMagic.com. Luminous preparations continue. Epcot's Island Laser gets a... Yes, those characters for each country. Yeah, I think I would like to hear yes. each one of them, too. That would be like a nice... Epcot's Island Lasers get a tune-up. So while mo most of the work is taking place on the barge platforms that will make up the bulk of the launch hardware for Luminous, the Symphony of Us. Crews are also making adjustments to some of the land-based systems. Today we spotted crews working on the island-based lasers near the China and France pavilions. It says these 
island-based lasers were added in 2014 for reflections of Earth and were later used for Harmonious. Disney has released very little information on the new show, but we do not know that Luminous will include fireworks, fountains, lasers, or we do know that Luminous will include fireworks, fountains, lasers, and lighting effects. And a notable change from Harmonious, there will be no screens and the barges will be moved backstage after each show. Luminous, the Symphony of Us, will officially debut to guest on December 5th at Epcot and Walt Disney World. The new show is the long-term replacement for Harmonious and the interim Epcot Forever show. That is it. She's talking about, like, um, is it La Bufana and then... Paranormal? Yeah, yeah, it's the different Santa different... Clauses. Well, yeah. let's, let's hope it's not Tim Allen dressed up telling us those stories. I think, I think really, when you watch... We... It, when you really watch the Santa Claus, they they bring out some of those traditions and talk about those a little bit, and or mention them sometimes in mm-hmm. those. So I don't forget which one we saw, but it was I really enjoyed it. Which one? When we we saw one when we were there yeah. at Christmas one year. All right, next up, this is from WDW News Today. A uh, trailer release for season two of Disney Parks Behind the Attraction series coming to Disney Plus for this November. So, it says season two of the Disney Park Behind the Attraction series is coming to Disney Plus for this November. The whole season will be available starting November 1st. Behind the attraction season one, Pirates of the Caribbean. Our attractions feature will include Pirates of the Caribbean, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Indiana Jones Adventure. Other episodes will focus on nighttime spectaculars, food, and Epcot. The official episode description reads, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's a pirate's life for everybody aboard Pirates of the Caribbean. Walt Disney loved adventure stories, especially ones that feature swashbuckling pirates. That inspiration led to... One of the most beloved attractions in Disney history initially conceived a wax museum. Technological advances convinced Walt that a more sophisticated attraction could be created using state-of-the-art auto-animatronic figures. The classic version in Anaheim proved so successful it spawned a hit movie franchise and iteration in Disney parks around the world, including the cutting-edge reimagined at Shanghai Disneyland. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, Step Aboard the Wildest Ride in the Wilderness, based on a concept by Disney legend Mark Davis, Imagineer Tony Baxter reimagined this mountainous thrill ride that is sure to float your goat. Inspired by the American West, this attraction has spread around the world. The version at Disneyland Paris is on an island and is connected to Phantom Manor, while the one at Walt Disney World Resort and Disneyland Parks are inverted versions of each other on opposite coasts. Hong Kong Disneyland Park even boasts a sister attraction, Big Grizzly Mountain Runaway Mine Cars. Big Thunder Mountain Railroad has it, has it all, runaway trains, mine, Mining Town Rainbow Bridge, Disturbed Spirits, and Spinning Possums. Rumor has it there's even a secret goat trick. A secret goat trick? We'd have to learn that. Next. Mike says, I bet the lasers in the light show are sealed plex- in sealed plexiglass. Boxes or the weather will play havoc with the electrical parts inside. Huh. Okay, boost the power on Disney Laser Show. Okay, boss, done. Now the laser has power <laughs> of the Death Star. <laughs> the power of the Death Star. All right. Next up, Indiana Jones Adventure. Crack the whip and join Indiana Jones on the adventure of a lifetime. Just beware of the snakes. Following the su- success of Star Tours, Michael Eisner and Frank Wells thought it was time to have George Lucas bring another cinematic hero to the Disney parks. With action sequences in every Indiana Jones movie that seemed like blueprints for exciting attractions, the choice was obvious. India's everywhere in the parks, from a live-action stunt show to Disney's first inversion roller coaster at Disneyland Paris to the thrilling Indiana Jones adventure at Disneyland Park that proved so popular another one was built at Tokyo Disney Sea. These attractions are so good, they belong in a museum. Up ne- next is Epcot, where you where can you both glimpse the future and travel the world without leaving Florida at the experimental prototype community of tomorrow, where the impossible becomes possible. When it opened in 1982 at Walt Disney World Resort, Epcot was the biggest Disney park yet. 
At its heart stands the astounding architectural achievement that is Spaceship Earth, arrays around the lagoon. Uh, World Showcase features pavilions that celebrate nations from around the world. Some even host attractions like Norway's Frozen Ever After and France's Remy Ratatouille of Adventures, as well as Guardians of the Galaxy's Cosmic Rewind in the World Discovery Neighborhood. As long as there is imagination left in the world, Epcot will never be complete. Up next is the food, churros, Dole Whip, turkey legs, and more. Discover the story behind these tasty treats. Walt Di Walt's new food was crucial to the park-going experience. From walk-around snacks to themed dining experiences like the piratical Blue Bayou Restaurant, there's something for everyone. Learn how the churro debuted at a Disneyland teen nightclub, how the Central Bakery makes all of Disneyland sweets, and what goes on at the secretive flavor lab at Walt Disney World. What's the flavor lab? That would be be telling. Globally explore how Disneyland Paris puts their twist on Walt's favorites. Hong Kong Disneyland Resort creates character-shaped dim sum. And Tokyo Disneyland reimagined popcorn, to name a few. Food keeps the story going beyond the attractions. Up after that is the Nighttime Spectaculars, the magic continues after dark with Disney Parks Nighttime Spectaculars. What began as a fireworks show in the skies above Disneyland Park has evolved over the years into a wide array of shows at Disney Parks around the globe. Thanks to the technology, innovations like projections, mapping, mist screens, and even drones, they have become more spectacular with every passing year. Long-standing Disney favorites like the Main Street Electrical Parade, Fantasmic, and World of Color have joined by newer dazzlers like Momentus at Hong Kong Disneyland Park and Illuminate at Shanghai Disneyland. Come for the attraction, stay for the show. Here's the official trailer. How long do you think it is? Wow. Oh, that's right. I was like, it'd be pretty good. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Um. Mike says, not just waterproof, but also have copper tubing running inside with cold water in the tube as a heat sink. I bet on the laser would overheat. Mar says, goat track. Ha ha ha. Billy O'Sullivan's bar on Beale Street has climbing goats. There is a wooden spiral staircase in the outside terrace of the bar, only in the summer though. When I used to work at Burger King, my manager let me have stuff shipped to me at work and when a box from a, how do you say that, Estes Rockets came <laughs> and said explosive on it and addressed to me, the co-manager got scared. Just engines, laugh out loud. <laughs> I think Disneyland only does fireworks on the weekends and they are careful about the wind carrying sparks and starting a wildfire. Wow. So, next up, this is from Orange County Registry. Pixar's Turning Red boy band Four Town is coming to Disneyland, but for what? What do you think? Coming to Disneyland? 
What? I don't even know. You've never, you've never watched that movie, Turning Red. Mm -mm. It's about women who, when they get older, they turn into red pandas. Oh, wait, I've ability. watched Turning the the panda that girl that yeah yeah okay. Well, this was the boy band that they had. Uh, okay. All right, so uh. Fans of NSYNC, the Backstreet Boys, may soon be in for a real treat when the boy band from Pixar's Turning Red makes the jump from anime movie heartthrobs to theme park performers at the Disneyland Resort. Disney's live entertainment is seeking performers to play the four-town boy band from the 2022 Pixar animated film for upcoming special events Excuse me, at Disneyland Resort, according to the Disney Audition website. Turning Red tells the story of an exuberant, ambitious, and overachieving 13-year-old Chinese-Canadian girl who turns into a giant red panda when she gets too excited. The coming-of-age story sets in the early 2000s follows Mei Li and her girlfriends as they set out on a determined quest to attend a four-town concert at Toronto Skydome. The Disney casting call is also looking for performers to portray Mei's teenage girlfriend Marie, Miriam, Abby, and Priya, as well as her supportive and daunting father, Jen Lee. Noticeably missing from the Disney audition job postings are May and her mother, Ming, who both turn into giant red pandas in the film thanks to the ancient magic. It says, they may be cast internally or appear in their red panda form, meaning resemblance to the character wouldn't matter according to WDW News Today. The Disney audition job posting describes Four Town as the dreamiest chart toppers of the early 2000s who keep it real <laughs> by staying humble and always being true to their fans. Robert is the cheerful band leader who will one day launch his own solo career. Tay Young is the cute one and an animal lover. Art school student Jesse is the artistic one and a father of two. Shy and stoic lone wolf Aaron Z is the band's best dancer and choreographer. Fast talking Aaron T is the fun loving prankster who helps break the tension when life on the road gets too intense. Disney Live Entertainment did not reveal where the nine turning red characters will appear at Disneyland, Disney California Adventure, or Downtown Disney. The sheer numbers of characters suggest the special event will be more than your ordinary meet and greet photo opportunity. There are plenty of options where Disneyland could stage a turning red show. Disney Live Entertainment has shown willingness to think outside the box with the limited run of Rogers the Musical that turned an inside joke in the Hawkeye Disney Plus series into a 35-minute one, one act Broadway style musical in DCA's Hyper Hyperion Theater. The dream scenario would be a recreation of Four Towns' truly epic stadium concert show featuring high flying theatrics, lights, fog, vapor geysers, and pyrotechnics. The empty Hyperion would be the perfect venue for, for a Four Town reunion show. No matter how fun that sounds, it's probably unlikely to happen. Disney Live Entertainment isn't looking for actors or singers to portray Four Town just lookalikes who might be able to dance. The $20 per hour wage is also below what Disney typically pays for union stage actors. So, Mar said, what goes around comes around again. A whole new group of boy bands for this new generation. <laughs> then she said, I didn't think that film was widely accepted. Mike says, did you hear about the rock band made up of dentists, gums, and roses? <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> and Mark said, Disney is recreating the monkeys marcy made a special trip to disneyland to see the rogers play i don't know who that is i don't think i ever heard of him either if you google doctor who voice actors in disney you will find a lot of actors in movies and cartoons so you we got time for one more maybe maybe i have one more the others is uh it's just uh merchandise all right this is coming from disney food blog a new Disney hotel lounge is now opening. 
It says, the new villas were added to the Disneyland Hotel for members of the Disney Vacation Club. The villas are now available for booking using your DVC points, but that's not the only recent change at Disneyland Hotel. We just heard about a new lounge that has opened here. Let's check it out. So it says, not far from Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Bar in the Disneyland Hotel, the lounge has opened up to bring us a new dining and cocktail experience. Enchanted Tiki Bar announced this update on Instagram. The lounge features new food and cocktails served to you by your favorite Trader Sam skippers. The food menu features items such as truffle fries, charcuterie, pizza, and even a Wagyu cheeseburger. You can get some classic cocktails here, such as martinis and an old fashioned, or try one of their custom cocktails like the Bramble, Derby, or the Aviation. So what's I got chicken wings, truffle fries, classic Caesars, toasted quinoa, quinoa or baby kale, and baby four, four cheese pizza, or charcuterie pizza, turkey club, wagyu steak, and her cheeseburger and steak fry, frights. Steak frights? It's New York strip, french fries, and the demi glaze. Oh. So is that how much it costs? Forty-two dollars. Yes. And the cheeseburgers twenty-six. The turkey clubs twenty-two. The charcuterie pizzas twenty-four. Four cheese pizzas twenty-one. The quinoa and baby kale is twenty. And then down here are your specialty drinks: the Bramble, the Aviation, the Derby, the Hemingway Daiquiri, Margarita, Mezcal, Palomoa, Old Fashioned, Martini, and the Negroni. But of course, they also serve a select of wines and beers with several options for both. The lounge can be found inside the Fantasy Tower where Steakhouse 55 Lounge used to be located. We have not heard any updates on the previous lounge. Currently, the lounge is open daily from 5 p.m. to closing. So it's just called The Lounge. <laughs> what do you think of that? Mm-hmm. It's just called The Lounge. The Lounge. The Lounge. So that is going to do it. Thank you guys for joining us. We will be back Monday for more Disney updates. Uh, what else? Well, we got our uh, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone trivia on Tuesday at 8 o'clock. We will be putting out a adventure video on Wednesday at 1130. Uh, a eastern time mm -hmm. uh and then we'll be back for another disney updates i think i'm gonna start reintroducing daily or uh, disney daily updates uh if it falls on a day that we're doing disney updates i'll probably just put something up talking about what we're gonna do on disney updates but other than that keep your eyes open for some more of our stuff coming from the channel um, my dad used to show us that kind of stuff to Mike when, like, when we were kids. What's that? Um, like when he when he goes to the town pool, he shows kids science tricks, like when you go underwater and you hit the sound, the the pitch is different. When do you ma do mash trivia? I will rock that. that that's <laughs> funny. I've been watching mash. I like mash. I mean, I I, I used to watch it all the time, especially my dad watched it. And I I like mash. It's hilarious. But uh, we've got what is it on that we're watching it? Oh, it's on Hulu. Oh. I it yeah. just reminds me of my dad. Like that's what we would watch when he'd get home from work. Right, right. So, so and you know, I I think we're on the first season. So, mm -hmm. but I do I do think I've um, seen most of the mashes. I'm just I don't know. We're looking for something else to watch. Let's. I don't know. Um, I hope Sandy's okay. She hasn't been in for a while. Yeah. So I'll send some prayers up for her. I will. So, but that is going to do it. Thank you guys for joining us once again. I hope y'all have a, a good weekend. Absolutely not, Mike. What's that? Margie Land. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but once again, thank you. I hope y'all have a good weekend, and we will see you back here on Monday at six thirty for more Disney updates. We'll see you later. Have a good night. Bye. I can't find my. There it is.